Hey there guys, how's it going? So, last night I sat down to watch the um, Alexander Povetkin and David Price fight and the uh, Anthony Joshua uh, Joseph Parker fight. I watched the whole card from start to finish. It was a really, really good card, really enjoyable, some good fights. Uh, the Povetkin knockout against Price was brutal. I mean, that fight was just on the edge of your seat stuff. It was really, really, um, really, really entertaining fight to watch, as we all knew it would be. I mean, David Price, like a lot of people have said on here, David Price is basically car crash TV. You know, either you get him or he gets you. You know, he's that type of fighter. So, yeah, I enjoyed that fight. But um, I don't really know what to say about that fight, to be honest. I mean, there's really not really any point breaking it down. Let's talk about the main event. So, Anthony Joshua wins a very wide, you know, <laughs> insanely wide, uh, unanimous decision over Joseph Parker. Um, you know, guys, right after I right after I saw this fight, I was having kind of a deja vu. You guys might remember um, a few weeks ago I did my post-fight review for the Sergey Lipinets Mikey Garcia fight, and <laughs> I have I have complete deja vu here it's as if i watched the same fight it really is um I, I saw mikey garcia in that fight i saw him standing there with his hands up hardly throwing any punches doing basically nothing for the first half of the fight yet the commentators were like oh a great round by mikey garcia great round by mikey garcia great punch by mikey garcia um you know i've got him up at this point and you know you, you had the commentators i felt that were trying to give mikey garcia credit for things he wasn't doing. I mean, like I said, he, he really wasn't doing anything in the fight. And I thought that Sergei Lepinets was outworking him. I thought he was out-jabbing him. And I just thought that he was the busier and, you know, the more assertive fighter in there. I have the exact same opinion on this Anthony Joshua fight. Guys, I can't tell you what it is that Anthony Joshua did. To win this fight 118-110. I don't understand. Now I'm not saying you couldn't have him winning the fight. But I mean. And like I said. you know, I, I, Again I'm having deja vu. It's exactly the same situation there. Somebody is going to need to explain to me. What Anthony Joshua did to win those rounds. I mean in the first half of this fight. I, again I thought that. Joseph Parker was outworking him. I thought that he was throwing more punches. I thought his jab was a heck of a lot more accurate. I thought that he did a very good job of, of completely negating Anthony Joshua's right hand. Anthony Joshua couldn't get near Joseph Parker with that right hand. He hardly landed it the whole fight. I think he might have grazed him with it a couple of times. He, he did get him to the body a couple of times, which had an effect because Anthony Joshua is a very, very hard puncher and is very heavy-handed. So, obviously, if he's able to land a, a shot at any moment, he can he can push you back to the ropes and he can have a, a you know a real visible effect but i don't think that that there was enough of that from Joshua to really score him most of the rounds i mean he was you know trying to plant his feet and trying to drag parker into a fight and you know trying to fight in bursts because as we all know Joshua doesn't really have the stamina or the or the pace to 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 really be able to you know, let his hands go and, and set a really fast pace in a fight, he has to bite, he has to fight in bursts, and I thought that that was a problem for him here, because Joseph Parker has very good stamina, and Joseph Parker was throwing a lot of shots in there, and I thought that he just overwhelmed and outworked Anthony Joshua in a lot of the rounds, uh, of course, one of the main issues for Parker in the fight was the referee, this disgraceful, despicable referee, who was without a doubt on Anthony Joshua's side. And guys, I, look, you guys know I like Anthony Joshua. Okay, I'm a fan of his style. Uh, I think he's a, a real entertaining guy to watch. He always goes for the knockout. Like I said, he was looking for the knockout in this fight. He didn't get it, but, you know, he was at least trying. And But I have to be perfectly honest, guys. He, he This referee was a disgrace. Every time... Every time Joseph Parker got any momentum in this fight, every time he tried to work on the inside, the referee would stop the action and would break the two guys up. Yet, at any moment when Parker was hurt and when Joshua was trying to, you know, get his offense going inside, the referee would just let them continue. I mean, you know, Anthony Joshua had a tape loose on one of his gloves. I think it was his left glove. And it was in a round that he was doing very well. And he actually did manage to hurt Parker a bit. And... In, in that round, the referee wouldn't stop the action to fix the tape. Yet when Joshua was, was seemingly out of gas and was being pushed back by, by Parker, 
the referee immediately, you know, was like, oh, we need to need to sort this out and gives Joshua a break. And it was just, it was that kind of fight. It just stank of corruption, man. Absolutely fucking pathetic. I mean, guys, Anthony Joshua does not need a referee to help him win a fight. Let him win the fight legitimately, seriously. But yeah, I thought it was that kind of fight. I thought it was it was close. I mean, the later rounds, Parker wasn't really able to put a dent in Joshua. He didn't really have the power. Parker's not that big a puncher. Okay, he can punch, but in in regards to you know some of the other guys, like like if you were to compare his power to to any of the top heavyweights on this card, David Price, Povetkin, uh, Joshua, all of them punch considerably harder than Parker, in my opinion. So Parker. Just wasn't able to put a dent in him. He wasn't, and um, yeah, it was it was a real shame that because if he'd had some decent power, he probably would have won this fight easily. But yeah, I mean, um, to me, it was just it was a competitive fight. It was a close fight. I thought Parker outworked Joshua in a lot of the rounds. Um, I felt towards the end of the fight, though, he, you know, Joshua did pick up some of those rounds because Parker just wasn't able to keep him at bay. Parker just didn't have the strength or the power. And, um, yeah, I thought that, that Joshua did well in the later rounds. He, you know, he boxed responsibly. He, he did start to get his jab going, but there was a lot of fouling from Joshua. There were quite a few elbows on the inside, quite a few headbutts. Um, like when the two guys were in close and Joshua was, was very, very sneaky with the head, the way he would push it up. He was also headlocking a lot in the fight, um, you know, using his physical strength and trying to, trying to headlock Joseph Parker and push him down. And, um... Yeah, got away, got away with it. it. Was never warned by the referee once. I, I think there was even a moment in the fight where Parker got warned for landing a left hook. And <laughs> guys, uh, just I don't know, guys. I know that people are gonna dislike the video because Anthony Joshua has a lot of dick riders out there. Guys, I, I'm I'm an Anthony Joshua fan, but I'm not a dick rider. And you guys know I'm not. I'm not even a Joseph Parker fan. You look at my look at my previous videos on Joseph Parker. I like the guy, but I'm not a fan. Okay. I haven't been impressed with him for a long time, but credit where credit is due. I thought he did a good job in this fight, and I thought that he was very modest afterwards, but he really should have spoke out against... I mean, I, I didn't see his whole post-fight interview. I only listened to a bit of it here and there. I was kind of preoccupied with my, with the internet and stuff, seeing what people thought, but from what I heard, you know, he was very modest, and he gave Joshua the credit, but I think he should have spoke out against the referee and against the scores, which were way too wide in my opinion so let me know what you guys think about this fight anyway and thanks for watching